the one and only original Red Wiggle. It's Murray Cook! Hey guys. <laughs> Murray, thank you so much for joining us. It is a real thrill and honour for us. There's so much to chat to you about. You've done so much in your career, but the Wiggles, did you think the legacy would last this long? No, we really just started off um, as a sort of uh, a hobby. Um, so Anthony and Greg and I were preschool teachers and we uh, made an album of music for children using what we'd learned at university. And, you know, we just thought this is a one-off, we'll do a few little shows and that'll be it, go back to teaching. Uh, 32 years later, here we are. Yes, and not just 32 years later, you've sold over 30 million albums, 2 billion streams, ARIA Hall of Fame, number one in Triple J's Hottest 100. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What are you most proud of? Uh, I think the longevity of it, really. Um, you know, I, I stopped performing with the Wiggles um, in 2012, and um, here we are over 10 years later, almost 11 years later, with a new lineup and still as popular as ever. And, and so, this little thing that we created as almost a cottage industry 32 years ago is still powering on, and it's, I'm immensely proud of that. Well, the history of the Wiggles is incredible, and it's all been captured perfectly in a brand new docker that's out today on Prime Video Hot Potato. The story of the Wiggles, it's out now. We've been lucky to see it. It is brilliant. Why documentary? Why now? Well, you know, we were approached to do it a couple of years ago. A guy called Fraser Groot, who's a New Zealander, had done some work with us and it was kind of his idea and then he got some other people involved. And it was pretty hands-off for us. We were interviewed and we provided them with some material, but they put it all together. And I jokingly say, you know, it's the right time because we're all still alive. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say about a New Zealander doing all the heavy lifting? I relate. So, um... <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. I want to go back to the start, and you touched on it earlier, because what I love is that, you know, most bands and groups meet at, you know, rock concerts or at festivals or jamming in uh, pubs. You guys met studying early childhood education at uni. That's such a... That's been such an amazing way to meet. Yeah, it's a pretty unusual sort of uh, uh, origin story, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, Anthony and I were in the same year at, um, at uh, Macquarie University at, uh, at the Institute of Early Childhood and uh, Greg came along as well and that kind of, that's kind of informed everything we've done. We've, um, you know, that's our real uh, underpinnings for the Wiggles. In the course you learn a lot about the way children think and how to communicate with children and we took that philosophy and, and applied it to, to entertainment and I think that's part of the reason for the longevity and and why it's worked for so long. Well, you did meet Anthony at university, and it's fair to say that Anthony had slightly different priorities to you. We both started second year at the same time, and I just got married, and, <laughs> and he said, what are you getting married for? There's all these girls here. <laughs> there were five guys in our year, 180 women. <laughs> it really got down to the numbers, didn't it? <laughs> well, we were always pretty aware of it, you know. <laughs> In the Wiggles, in the height day of the Wiggles, were there, were there groupies? Were there ever any...? <laughs> no, not really. I mean, you know, we, we were playing during the daytime and then we moved on. But, you know, in, in the US, when we started to make it big in the US, we did have stalkers for a while. And, oh, and, wow. uh, yeah, and we used to check in under, um, uh, uh, under uh, fake names. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> was was it high five? <laughs> <laughs> no, but Je Jeff did check in as Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> but just going back to early childhood education, because as you said, you brought a lot of that philosophy to the Wiggles and it sort mm. of informed a lot of the choices. These guys are really smart guys. There's a reason for the colours, there's a reason for the lyrics. Yes, there was a very clever reasoning. You want my story of how the coloured skibbies came about? I just chose purple straight up. I had a red, a red shirt. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, a lot of that. Science went into that. <laughs> well, yeah, that was the kind of idea at first, and then you know we we decided that it was a good way for children to be able to identify us without having you know to know our names because a lot of the children you know don't have much speech yet, so uh, you know they can just point at the red. But you know what's funny? We heard from a lot of parents that that uh, their kids grew up calling the colour red Murray and you know the <laughs> colour <laughs> purple Jeff, and it took quite a while to wean them off that. So um, yeah, you could team up with Julux or something. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Good point. Oh, make a note. <laughs> One of the things you guys did learn about it at university was the importance of lyrics, and they had to be memorable, easy for kids to remember. Wake up, Jeff. We really need you. Wake up, Jeff. 
something on something something. Hey, <laughs> cup, chef, before the day's through. I should know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lyrics are never my strong point. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> we were talking about Paul McCartney at the start of the show. Was it a bit like the Beatles? Did you guys come in with individual songs? Like, did you walk in one day and go, hey, I've got a great number about a hot potato? Was that how... <laughs> yeah, no, it actually was a bit like that. We decided pretty early on, similarly to the Beatles, where, uh, you know, if John wrote the song or Paul wrote the song, they credited it all to um, Lennon and McCartney, and we did that with, with the Wiggles too. It's just, you know, everyone contributed in different ways, so we decided to just split the songwriting um, four ways. And, yeah, we all did come up with different songs. And who yeah. was the Ringo? Who did you let have one song <laughs> on the album? <laughs> Well, Jeff wrote, I'm a cow. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jeff, Jeff, to be fair, Jeff's contribution was, it was enormous. You know, he, he's a great musician. And I think that's one of the great things I love about the documentary. It kind of comes out that we actually did play on those records. So it is, is us playing the music. So, uh, you know, that, I, I think that's a nice thing to come out. So I, I remember I've done gigs since then with, with my band. And, um, you know, I'll be playing and someone will come up and say, I didn't know you actually played the guitar. So I just expected it to be Miami, yeah. Murray, with the group, you inspired millions of children across the world, and it's very special that you're here tonight because I was lucky enough to be one of those kids. You were definitely the voice of my childhood. Every year we would play this, the VHS of the 1997 Christmas classic, Wiggly Wiggly Christmas. Yeah, wow. Murray. <laughs> You got it, 1995, you did get it on special. Well, <laughs> it was in the bargain bin. And, um, <laughs> Murray, this was, this, this was on every year in our house. Your memories of Wiggly Wiggly Christmas? Oh, look, it was just, it was, it was fun to do. But it's, it's funny because we um, actually filmed it all in sort of June or something. So <laughs> we've got all this tinsel around and we're going, yeah, Christmas is great fun. And, yeah, it was the middle of the year. But, you know, Christmas <laughs> in July, that kind of thing. It was all cool. Well, it was, it was full of Christmas fun, classic songs, dances, even a nativity scene. We're getting ready for today's nativity play. Over here is Joseph. Joseph, who are you playing in the nativity play? Joseph. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> bit typecast, don't you think? <laughs> well, you know, that, it does really sound funny, and it is, but um, that's, that's Anthony's nephew, who's now about um, 27 or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I know, old, he'd be older than that. And uh, his name is Joseph. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I, one more bit from Wiggly Wiggly Christmas. There was obviously a big Christmas feast. Oh, Captain oh. Feathersword, what's oh. wrong? Oh, oh, I've had too much Christmas pudding, Murray, and I'm not feeling too good. Do you suffer from indigestion? <laughs> 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 It was a wonderful show. Well done, Murray. I was waiting for that. <laughs> well, Murray, it has been an absolute joy for us to have you on the show. You've won so many awards, had amazing success, but I think, I think the fact that you have influenced and brought joy to so many millions of people around the world is just an unbelievable thing. So from all of us, we thank you. Hot Potato, the story of the Wiggles is available now on Prime Video. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Murray Cook? Thanks, guys. Nice to you.